Um, and then this is my, and then you put it on this little thing because it holds it while you scrape it. And then this is that one. So that's my Conad um, nail art kit, and I totally love Conads. They're awesome. Another thing that I really love to do is crochet. Not everybody knows that about me. I made a video a long time ago. This is actually a blanket I'm making. My cousin uh, Dory just had a baby, so I'm making this for baby Aiden. And I, I, I don't know. What do you think about these colors? I picked baby blue, and this is the color that I chose for this one. It looked really pretty on there, and then I did it this way. I'm going to actually do more baby blue than this. I'm going to probably do a little bit more in there, and then after I'm going to do the edges with this color. So I picked that in baby blue. I actually crocheted, I have this one right here. I actually crocheted this blanket. I make a lot of blankets. And this is the edging that I did on the edge of it. And it's pink when I use that color with it as well. So I crochet a lot. This is my big blankie. I've made like big ones for queen size beds. and But this is my pink one. This is my personal blanket. This pink one right here. So yeah, that's, and it has like a big stripe in the middle and then it has this one and that other edge over there. There's a stripe over there too, see? It goes like this, and then a stripe in the middle and then a stripe right here, and then the edging goes like this. <clears throat> it's a pretty big blanket. I make blankets for when it's cold for us, you know. So I crochet, and um, so that's my baby cousin Aiden's, um, that's my needle. They say I'm a happy hooker. So there's my hook right there. <laughs> and then um, another thing that I really like is my daddy doll. And my daddy doll I got when my husband was in Iraq. And it says our hero Iraq 2007. And me and Lorena had one. And we had a made for us. And I just like lived with this daddy doll. Well, my husband was in Iraq. I mean, I held on to this bad boy. We would see a lot of the teenagers and stuff like that in the military. Everybody had their daddy dolls. And I think it's a really good idea because he's with you. And we sleep with him at night. And it just kind of got us through when times were hard for my little girl and stuff because he was there a year. Um, it was really scary. We almost lost him in the first week. A helicopter got shot down. It was on CNN. I got a phone call saying my husband was in there. And it was just traumatizing for us the whole time. He had a lot of close calls. God was really with him. <coughs> so this is my daddy doll and I still love it and then I just thought you know just to kill some time I'd give you some of my favorite movies one of my favorite movies is Ratatouille I love Hello Dolly because I like musicals I sing and I also write poetry Fido which this movie just cracks me up it takes back a uh, time in the 50s and they actually put these neck things on the zombies and they control them so they're their maids and they mow the lawn and they're your butlers and it's hilarious Fido and the mom falls in love with Fido and the he takes over the family West Side Story of course I don't need to say anything about that how can you not love it do 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 I love that one um <clears throat> the burbs love this movie reminds me of back in the 80s I remember seeing it loved it Money Pit also very good funny like Tom Hanks one of my favorite movies in the world, Kung Fu Hustle. Movie cracks me up. It is so good. My husband is Chinese. Yes, we love cheesy Kung Fu movies. We love, love, love them. My father did um, karate. He was an instructor and a teacher. And so I was raised in Japantown and Chinatown. And we used to go see these. My dad only took us to see Kung Fu and karate movies. I love samurai movies like um, Lady Snowblood and um, <clears throat> a Toshino Mifune movies. Uh... The Seven Samurai. I mean, I'm hardcore into those movies. So, Kung Fu Hustle. And one of my ultimate favorites is Curse of the Golden Flower with Chow Yun Fat and Gong Li. Um, this movie is awesome. One of my favorites. Scandalous. Oh my god, this movie is so crazy. It's an awesome, awesome movie. I can't get enough of it. And of course, I love Drop Dead Gorgeous. This movie just cracks me up. It's so shallow. Uh oh, and a makeup. I actually have one thing is my Yabby palette. This thing has had some wear and tear. My husband got it for me. It blew my mind when I found out it was $100 because these are small like dimes. I mean, look at how tiny these are. They're eaty beady. But this palette has lasted me. I've had it for like since 2008, I think. And I use it all the time. And these are the colors. And these are the most true to the colors that I've ever seen. Every single color on here, that's exactly how it looks on your eyeballs. Look at that beautiful dark purple. 
on the blue above it. It's just gorgeous. Um, Yabby is very expensive, but it's gorgeous. I mean, I tell my husband, this is the best hundred bucks you've ever spent. Because I use this all the time, as you can see. And it's lasted me, and I use it almost every day. And I love that black right there. Look at the glitters in it. It's the colors are just so true. Um, let me see this purple one if I swatch it. Look at that. Uh, I like this teal one. That one. Uh, my daughter uses. She likes the red. That the black. That real shiny black one. Look at that. I'm not going to just watch this forever. Aren't those gorgeous? That is my favorite. I have MAC. I have a whole bunch of different kinds of uh, makeup. And I got to say, and they're blendable. Look at, look at that. They're not, I mean, oh, they're just gorgeous. My fingers are all jacked up now. And this is my favorite palette. I like it. It's very heavy. It's magnetized. I can carry it in my purse. Um, these do come out because they're magnets, but I'm not going to take them out for you. Love, love, love this palette. It's awesome. It's the best that I've tried so far my Abbey palette. And I hope that's how you say it. All right, then. Those are some of my favorite things. And I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.